In Anakinish at Sainavex, Emma Logan's heading into the university's Innovation and Enterprise Center. As a Wallace Family Internship winner, she's made the most of the support she got to initiate her idea to bring hearing to people who can't afford it. It's an issue near and dear to her heart. She lost her hearing in infancy because of meningitis. I've had a hearing aid since then, uh, and when I was three years old, I had surgery for a cochlear implant. So due to those technologies and uh, the support of my parents, who have been tremendous throughout all of this and growing up, and uh, speech speech therapy, uh, I've had an audiologist growing up. And now she wants to help others. She's collecting old hearing aids. She wants a thousand of them to take to a village in the Dominican Republic in April for people who can't afford them. Across Canada, there's there's so many people wearing hearing aids, and um, we we tend to upgrade them every few years, and not necessarily because the ones that we're wearing right now uh, are no longer good. They're still perfectly good work, working hearing aids that are being put away um, that still have life left in them. With some of her ex-friends, she's meeting in the boardroom. They're bouncing ideas about how to get her hands on those hearing aids. I think we can make a much greater impact and collect many more. Brainstorming with her, the Kite Twins, Abby and Emma. All of us who are deaf know how expensive hearing aids can be, like even just for us. Know that we're also making a difference in the deaf community as well, um, just by helping Emma. And it's been a really cool experience and it's honestly just yeah. motivated me to even help even more and yeah. like try and... And even though um, we do wear hearing aids and most of our family is hearing impaired, sometimes we do take it for granted that we can afford hearing aids. Kalen Peters is helping with web design and social media. I'm like many people, I think I take hearing for granted every day. I mean, the fact that you can hear me right now speaking isn't something you're probably cautiously thinking of. So to give that gift to someone is so powerful. So either I don't have any hearing aids to give, but I can give my time. For Emma, what started as a small idea keeps growing. Well, I just think of myself and how it's changed my life and uh, who I am today is without a doubt the support that I have received and um, You're yeah. paying it forward. I, I am absolutely paying it forward. She's paying it forward one hearing aid at a time. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Anakinish.